Hey, what it do, YouTube, my kings and my queens, my crowns and my tiara, what's up, crown family? What we have right here, we have TV So Cool, and we have Nothing For Truth. She did reactions to um, TV So Cool and Roy T. Um, they've been popping lately on social media streets. From what we know so far is that um, since TV So Cool had got um, pow powed Royalty had a problem with her, with their children coming to his house. She felt like it was not safe. Okay, that's understandable. So he could take her to court and he had um, got granted custody, well, temporary custody of the kids. So he has the kids for like four days out of the week, just like something like that. But, anyways, um, people, as we do, um, once you post something on social media, it's free for anybody to get their opinion on it. So, this um, content creator, Nothing But The Truth, she does a lot of great, shout out to this um, content creator right here. Go to her channel, show some love, tell her how to spend the time she got. She does a lot of um, reactions to his content. And so, the last post that she made, it made perfect sense because I had made a statement once before when I did a video on um, him and his drama with his um, baby mother. Um, she said it. The same way I said it, but she said it a little, I won't say disrespectful, but she said the way she wanted to say it. She was saying her opinion. And you can't do nothing but respect it, so I guess he's just so cool. Found his feelings about it, and he went over to her page. This young lady has less than 2,000 subscribers. So he's so cool, has almost 9 million subscribers. He felt like, okay, he can, and he'll say that he don't care about, um, country creators that don't have as much um, subscribers as he do or if you do negative on, um, commentary on him, he don't care, he never look at it. But obviously he was bothered by what nothing but the truth had to say about him because he was all up in her um, comment section and wrote a whole dialogue on what she said about her video. So with further ado, let's get into what nothing but the truth had to say. But before that, let me give you my intro. Welcome, welcome, welcome over here. If you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am who I am. Her. I am that girl. I am Queen 318 Rotated Diva. And you tune into House of Queen CV. Subscribe if you want to do so. Also, thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share. Do all that. And also, if you'd like to um, contribute to my channel, you can do um, the Cash App and PayPal. They both will be in the description box. And again, thank you all so much for coming here and viewing my content. So, let's get into it. Like I was saying, this um, content creator is um, nothing but the truth. And she's giving her opinion on CD So Cool and what he uploaded. Like I said, when you upload stuff to the internet, the world wide web, it's free for people to get their opinion on it. So, people get mad. But... You post it, so you can't get too mad about it. So, um, anyways, let's hear what she had to say. Again, shout out to Nothing But The Truth. Careful what you do to me. Because somebody might do it to you. Yay, what's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video. I don't see CJ video. This man is crying wolf once again. And I gotta, and I gotta say this, like... Like, he have to be careful, and he got to understand that the energy that he put out is returned back to him. Royalty dealt with the same thing that he was dealing with when it comes to his comment session and negative comments. Royalty never posted a video of her crying. I have read a lot of Royalty comments where people were threatening her, calling her all type of names, saying she's this, saying she's that, or saying when they catch her, they're going to do this to her. She never went to the media and cried. 
she did that. If she did cry, she did it behind closed doors. CJ went to the media, and and I'm and I'm and I'm not trying to make this situation as deep. I know a lot of y'all feel like CJ was crying in that video because he was read some negative comments, and all he do want to be a great father. Let me tell y'all why he was really crying. Everybody who ever follows CJ know this man' behavior pattern. Once again, a royalty made a video trying to clean up her reputation to make her that negative energy that she got on herself to be more positive. He comes to make a video to deflect the situation, to make you seem like, oh, hey, y'all, I'm still a victim here, y'all. Don't forget, I'm the father that was fighting for the kid. That's what he did. And when he was crying in that video, he wasn't crying about no damn negative ass comments. See how many negative comments people been leaving on CJ channel for a long time. He was crying because he had a memory of his childhood trauma of him not taking pictures with his mom or him not having any memories, good memories of his childhood. That's opening wounds. That's why he started crying. It was not because of no comments. It was because of what he went through as a child. Now, if everybody who ever studied behavior, y'all know what I'm talking about. Watch this man's video again. This man started crying when he started talking about his childhood. Y'all stop trying to make it seem like he get bullied or these channels being too hard on him. CJ need to face reality and get some help when it comes to him talking about his childhood. Every time he talked about it, he cried. That's what made him cry in that video. It was not because he read no negative. Come, you know how many times... People left negative comments on the CJ Instagram post, Facebook post, and YouTube. This man never cried about it because he swear he said, oh, I hide the users. I read y'all negative comments. I bypass it. He wasn't crying because of the comments. But, it, but at the end of the day, if he was crying because of the comment, it was it, the comment section, it's because he was dealing with karma also. It's like you, you gave out that negative energy and it went back towards your way. But I honestly think CJ was crying because... He don't have no pictures or no memories of his childhood. And it's kind of sad, but you got to blame your mama for that, Don. You can't run here trying to... Okay, you guys. So... When she was talking about him being emotional and crying um, in the video, it's not because um, of him spending time with his children because he hadn't seen them in a long time. She was saying that um, because he don't have any memories um, of him growing up with his mother and his father because he was raised by his um grandmother. His mom was on drugs. I don't know if he... I don't, I don't, I don't think I ever heard of him say anything about... um. His father, but I know his mom was on drugs and stuff like that. So he was down with his grandma house with like five people to a bed, and he always had the nicest clothes and and stuff like that. So now that he got the money to do what he can do, he's like he's, he's buying his kids affection, he's buying his kids love. So I'm not gonna play the video due to copyright um strikes. So I'm gonna let you guys hear what he had to say. Again, if you're here for the first time, welcome. Also, thumbs up the content. And thank you guys so much for coming over here and viewing my content. Mm. Their life journey to make sure they're mediating other people's families. Like, that's just not normal. And God didn't intend for that to happen. Okay, so that is just something that came about once families couldn't resolve things with each other. Then they have to bring up this court thing, right? Or involve the courts. I don't like that. Because actually, before the fight and before the shooting, there was nothing really detrimental to our family. I didn't do anything wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. So there should be no reason that I didn't have my kids in my life, at least for three days a week, like we're getting now. Um, so all of this stuff that's happened, I'm not going to say it's because of me or anything okay, that's happened to me. I'm going to say what you guys have been saying. It came from pure bitterness and selfishness. But now that all of that is out the way, I have to admit, things are going really great with me and the mother. Like, we text now. I have her actual number. I have her address, even though I haven't been to their house. I did meet her outside the gate, and she has my address, even though she oh, hasn't been to my house. She met me outside my gate. Yeah. The way things are going with this first uh, pickup and drop off, yeah. I must say go somewhere else and get it. I can see a bright future in this. I didn't record the drop off just like I didn't record the pickup because unlike you haters, I'm not doing anything for clout or money. Okay, the reason why I record my family and the things that I do during the day is for you guys and me. It's not for money or any monetary purposes because guess what? When you record a video, you don't know how much money you're going to make. You don't know how many views you're going to get and none of that is even in your freaking brain. Well, not me. I'm recording the video for memory purposes only. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of my old videos, I still watch to this day. Music videos, vlogs, birthdays, all kinds of things because I like that. Okay, I like having a memory to go and look at because when I was a kid, 
it really wasn't like that. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have cameras. And the cameras that we did have, they were VHS. And if you don't know what VHS is, it's because you're young. But that's a tape. And we don't have VHS players anymore. So I can't pop a tape in and watch my childhood. Okay? But in the future, my kids will be able to go to the internet and pull up a video of them being a child. And trust me, it's going to be a crazy experience for them to see that when you were a little baby, you had both parents in your life and they both adored and cared for you. And even when the breakup occurred, you still had both parents in your life and they both cared for you. It's not about the designer that they get or the jewelry or the trips or all of the, the fun things. It's about the memory specifically. Okay? A lot of you guys don't have these memories. That's why you don't understand why I do what I do. You're just like me. But the difference between me and you is I understand that I wanted these memories. I didn't want to not have memories. I barely have baby pictures. Okay? You don't know how that feels to not have baby pictures. And I'm I'm trying my best to hold it together because a lot of times the comments it's like, mm, I don't know, bro. Mm, okay, listen, bro. The comments is the only way I can interact with you guys. So if you're watching the videos and you're commenting negative stuff, it's like, if they don't care, why are they here? I don't want you to watch me if you don't like what you see. Okay, it's simple as that. I don't. This is hard. This is really hard for me because I don't do stuff like this. I don't do stuff like this, okay? I don't really get in depth. A conversation, even though a lot of my videos is just me talking. I'm not gonna lie, the old videos was a lot of rambling. Okay, so that's more than what I cared to share. I just got into it a little bit because I haven't seen it. I had watched the video, but I didn't watch the whole thing. So I got into it and this had realized that y'all wasn't fucking watching it. Y'all were just hearing the shit. So my apologies, y'all. My apologies. So it was a little heartfelt, you know, because a lot of people do grow, that's growing up in this world. Um, some people don't even have relationships with their parents. And so he is a type of guy man that he wanted affection from his parent and he didn't get that so he wanted to try to give his children what he didn't have but then again he didn't give that to kamari because he was in her life and so now with the twins the stuff going with the twins but he also still raised um roy t um other three children they was calling him dad Especially with Leon, him and Leon had the best bond. So I hope he can work that relationship out with Leon. Because really, if you watch Roy T um, now, Leon, he's not as happy as he used to be. And I think it's because he does miss um, CJ so cool. So I hope he can come in that relationship too. Like he's doing it with his twins. I hope that he can also establish the relationship that he had with all her children, especially with Leon. Again, thank y'all for coming on here and um, reviewing my content. Thumbs up, thumbs up. If you're your first time, subscribe if you want to do something. Let's go. Let's get it. And shout out to Nothing But The Truth. Playing royalty. Anyways, but is he trying to deflect the situation and, and he wanted the world to know that, hey, I'm still this victim here. Hey, I don't want to drag her to court. Hey, I don't want to repeatedly beg her for my kids. That's a victim role. And you know, a lot of people falling for, you know, he know how to manipulate his audience. I'm going to say that. He's a good car salesman. Like, if I was broke as fuck and I didn't have no money, he would make me spend my last $500 on a down deposit. Or whatever. He would make me spend my last to get that car because he have a good talk game. He know how to convince people with his words. He know how to play the victim. He's a master. He's the master of manipulation. And that's what y'all feel to realize. But at the end of the day, like I said, you cannot be putting out all this negative energy and expect good to come your way. That's not how life works. Karma is a nasty... <laughs> And there it is, y'all. That's what she said. That's what the hell she said. So, I just want to do a reaction to that. So, let me try to see. Can I pull this up? Hold on, you guys. So, this is what CJ So Cool had um, wrote. If y'all want to pause it, y'all can read it yourself. But he was most like saying that, you know, growing up. He, first, he stopped saying that he was not crying um, about the coming section. And that he wanted to go to memories with his children. He didn't have that opportunity growing up. So he wanted to make his kids' life, you know, golden. And they have a lot of fatherless communities out here. And he's trying to he, he's trying to break that cycle of black men. 
and he said that royalty fans keep attacking him, like his fans don't attack her, and, um, and he also told her that, um, he also don't, um, I also like if you don't try to use my name to gain interest in YouTube world for your page. I suggest you find something you're good at and like to do because um, defamation of character is a real crime. And I do not approve of you using my likeness. Okay, it's close law. My likeness and name to promote in a negative narrative based off my life but he had to realize that you posted this unless your channel is um copyrighted or the channel or the video is copyrighted but you she make a video and you reply in the comment section so she's not the only person that's um doing reaction to your videos you have a you have a lot of content creators using your videos, and then the ones that kissing your ass and telling you the shit that you want to hear, but not telling you stuff that you need to hear. I don't hear, see you in your come in their comment section telling them that, because I go to their channels too when I look at their comment section, and you don't tell them that again. I um my nieces and nephews I can't say they have spun time, which is so cool, but. My nephew took pictures with him multiple times. He spent time with them while they was at the water park. My niece just won $500 at Walmart. So my family has a great record with CJ So Cool. I respect him for doing that. But this right here, this is, this is his family life. I don't like to speak on people and their children and people and their marriages. But, hey, I can if I want to because it's my opinion. But I try not to. And so, Roy T is trying to clean up her image. She got all the negative comments and, and all the negative reviews. So, she met with Lexi and her mom. And since the things didn't go the way that CJ thought it was going to go, he thought she was going to come here and rah, rah this and rah, rah that. And see when he see it didn't go that way, he uh, got the twins and got in the car and sat down and, and was rushing them to, to rush them Lexi to come on. Like, he don't want the shit to get better. He likes the toxic, so that's something to talk about. To make a video about. He needs to fix his inner childhood trauma before he really can be a great dad. Because putting spending money on your children is not being a great dad. Okay, you take them out to play, and I know they're still children, but you can put them on YouTube and doing learning videos. You know. Doing other stuff besides going to the park and playing games and all the other kind of stuff. They can do leapfrog reactions. Mm. Excuse me, I'm, sad. I'm still sick. But, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Eh, that was disgusting. But that's all I had to say to you guys. So, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the um content. And, again, if you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. And... To thank Carl Life sometimes good sometimes bad. Put the faith in God, he will see you through. He is all understanding. I love you. God love you. And I hope you love yourself even more. Keep in mind it will get greater later. And this video right here, you guys. I made this video yesterday. Can y'all please go um watch that video the ones who um are tuning into the video that i made today was just so cool and um and the truth please um go watch this video i um it's very telling detailing so you know any other of my videos you guys have not watched yet go and view those and thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up all my content 